How is Teflon coating applied? Have you ever wondered how Teflon, that magical non-stick coating, is applied to various surfaces? Let's break it down step by step. First, the surface of the item needs to be prepared. This involves a process called pre-baking the substrate. Essentially, this step removes any oils or contaminants from the surface, ensuring the new coating adheres properly and evenly. Next up is grit blasting. This is where the surface is blasted with aluminum oxide particles to remove any corrosion, rust, or previous coatings. This process roughens the surface, making it easier for the Teflon to stick. Once the surface is ready, it's time to apply the Teflon coating. This is typically done using a conventional spray method. The Teflon coating is put into a spray gun and then sprayed onto the surface in a rectangular motion to ensure an even coat. After the Teflon has been applied, the substrate needs to be cured. This involves heating the substrate to a specific temperature, which can be as high as 800 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the type of fluoropolymer being used. Each type of coating has its own curing specifications, so this step is very important. Finally, the coated item goes through a quality control inspection to check for any defects. This ensures that the coating is perfect and will perform as expected. Once everything is checked and approved, the item is packaged and shipped back to the customer, ready for use. Whether it's for industrial equipment, cookware, or any other application, this meticulous process ensures that Teflon coatings work flawlessly. In some cases, additional steps like applying a primer or using different types of Teflon coatings such as FEP or PFA might be necessary, but the core process remains the same. Each type of coating has its own unique properties and applications, but they all follow this general process to ensure a high-quality finish.